anniversary. Philip and Gigi Riapto, Rene and Princess Tarao, Mercy Montes, Lito and Lori Zapanda, Marlon and Joyce and Ira Takdor. For the birthday Thanksgiving of Ramon Valencia, E.C. Dizon, Eric Benuya, Kathleen and David Nukum, and Angel Kailao. For the special intentions of Chantal May Sotelo, Christian Andre Tuano, Jen D. H. Ventura, Erica Therese Pejon, Mark Homer Munoz, Catherine and Tristar Soto, Christine Sotelo, John Carlo Tube, Agnes David and family, Herminio Lynette Nukum and family, Bernie Baby Henson and family, Phil and Janet Castro and family, Eleanor Ventura, Herni Robes, Arman and Mariette Nang, Rosanna Reyes, Jimmy and Inday Santo Domingo, Patrick and Sarah Gaquinco. For healing, speedy recovery, and good health of Aiden Isaiah, Jude Elias, Elena Manuel, Maria Nevies Gozon, Rina Ignacio, Saviara May Ignacio, Paula Canadas, Asela Confer, Jeffrey Bau, Eric Santos, Tennessee Razon Roque, Joy Dunca Espino, Josdado Salangsang, Wilma Ocampo, Susana Sotelo, Leticia Castro, Oraya Yuna Soto, Juan Third Soto, Danica Dumagin, Juanita Carlos, Gloria Sotelo, Jenna Nikdauko, Michelle Rivera, Daisy Yaplito, Winifred Boy Sanjego, Jennifer Soriano, Adelaida Manyalak, Father Edwin Belli, Eliadora Balinit, Davina Gracia Carbunco, Rhea Arenas Ocampo, Baby Atalia Corpus, Angela Junueno Ramirez, Vicente Co. Luciano Jr., Roberto Yabut Rafael Montes, Ricardo Nogoy Sr., Danilo Olaza Olazo, Baby Zena Lorin Hope Matito, Angelo C. Kizon, Basilica Binuya Quesada, Adele Umlas, Cyril Blue L. Galvez, Elier Vitu, Gloria Panlilio, Ernesto Dizon, and those whom we pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Linda Flores Galang, Emmanuel de Guzman Sr., Conrado Manalang, Peter Danganan, Lisa Maglalang, Reynaldo D. Dale, Democrito Aison, Melchedes Chrysostomo Sr., Luz Bautista, Jose Caingat Nukum, Rolando C. San Diego, Robert Morris Brown, Rodinil L. Lagman, Chris Christopher Glenn Binuya Kizan, Genemino and Asuncion Cumlas, Faustino Maria Jenner, Shanna S. Olalia, Elena Farico, Vicente and Ellen Tumtanko, Alex Resurrection, Alejandro and Milagros Resurrection, Maria Teresa Morales, Illuminada Katap, Joaquin, Rodel Olea, Guidofredo and Jesus David, Nenita David, Zoilo and Seferina Cunanan, Lourdes Cunanan, Anet and Antonio Sikat, Ernel and Peter David, Magno and Francisca Hippolito, Melchedes Sr., 
Manuel Crisostomo, Maria Pia Francesco C. Usebe, Ricardo and Amando, Amanda Kailao, Pero Salinda R. Kailao, Adelaida C. Romero, and all poor souls in purgatory. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father De Gracious Pierre S. Galang. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing the entrance hymn. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In the midst of our Advent preparation for the birth of Jesus, we celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the principal patroness of the Philippines. We focus our eyes on Mary, the woman God gave and has chosen to be the mother of the Savior. As Mary lived up to her Immaculate Conception, listening to the Word of God and keeping it, so we are challenged to continue living up to that privilege given to her for our sake. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Meron ho ba kayong intention 
Mayroon ba kayong panalangin sa misa natin? Please remember them as we pray together. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared the worthy dwelling for your Son, grant we pray that as you preserve her from any stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which we at which you foresaw, so that through her intercession we too may be cleansed and ad admitted to your presence. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly you shall crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, let our response be, Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands, break into song, sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Let us all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, the virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at that what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have fa found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and is called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with the man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the power of the Most High will overshadow you, therefore the child to be born will be called holy the son of god and behold elizabeth your relative has been conceived also has conceived a son in her old age and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren for nothing will be impossible for god mary said behold i am the handmaid of the lord may it be done to me according to your word then the angel departed from her the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen immaculately she began and it was sustained by faithful fidelity and mary experience a glorious experience of fulfillment in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit kahit hindi po ako nakakaintindi ng engineering construction kung minsan tingnan mo pa lang yung ginagawang bahay ko malilit yung bakal malilit yung poste o kung minsan umpisa pa lang makita mo yung mababaw lang yung yung pundasyon, yung mga crossbeam sa ilalim, papansin mo, hindi pa man talaga tapos yung bahay. Yung umpisa pa lang, medyo napapansin mo, hindi magiging matiba yung bahay. O kung hindi man, hindi man pwede mag second floor. Kasi yung kakayahan niya, umpisa pa lang, mahina na. From the beginning, you can surmise the kind of strength the, the building will be having. Pwede natin ibaligtad. Pag nakikita ka ng pinapagawang bahay o pinagawang building, makita mo yung mga bakal, malalaki. Maganda yung design ng kanilang footing, yung foundation. Malalaki yung mga poster. Sasabihin mo, magiging matibay ang bahay na to. Hindi pa man tapos yan. Mga kapatid, ganyan din ang naging ang ating pinagdiriwang ngayon. It is a glorious, wonderful beginning. 
Immaculate Conception is the beginning of Mary living her beginning of her life without original sin. Umpisa pa lang magrasya na. Umpisa pa lang maganda na. Pwede rin kasing pag umpisa pa lang, mahina na kaagad. Kaya, it's always good to begin with your best foot in yeah, front. Yung pag nag ka, ayusin mo. Para pag pahuli-huli, hindi ka na nagahabol. Pag umpisa pa lang, bigay mo ng todo para pag patapos na, ayos na. Start start smart. Halimbawa, yung mga nag-aaral ngayon, habang nag-umpisa pa lang kayo, pag ayusan ninyo. Pag medyo tumanda na kayo, easy na lang ang pag-aaral. Hindi na mahirap ang iyong kinabukasan. Kahit sa mga kinakasal, marami po ako kinasal. Tatlo po yung kasal ngayon sa parokya natin. Dalawa sa Clark, isa dito. Ang dami po ng kasal. Noon, noon many, many, many years ago, may kinasal po ako. Kaya lang napansin ko, yung naglalakad ng mga papeles, yung nanay nung lalaki. The mother of the groom is facilitating the submission of baptismal certificate, birth certificate, marriage license, sinomar, yung mga requirements sa kasal, ang nagsasubmit, ang naglalakad, yung nanay, yung lalaki. Minsan tinanong ko, nasan po yung anak nyo? Naka-abroad? Kung minsan, naka-abroad, pwede naman kasi, kaya inaayos yung mga... Hindi po, nandito lang. Ba't di na lang yung anak mo yung maglakad niyan? Ay, Father, mas maganda ako na lang. Mas mabilis pa. Alam niyo po, kala ko nga yung magko-confess sa... Uh, magko-confess yung... yung nanay, hindi man yung anak. <laughs> o yung mag ng pre na yung nanay, hindi man yung anak. Kasi yung nanay lang ang dumarating. Eh. Hindi pa man sila kinasal, medyo... medyo may kutob na ako. Hindi maganda yung kutob ko sa kinabukasan ng kasal na yon. Sabi ko sa sarili ko, baka hindi magtagal ganito. Umpisa pa lang ang nanay na yung naglalakas ng mga papeles. Tama po ako. Hindi man nagtagal yung kasal na yon. Nagkanak sila, pero hindi sila nanatiling silang dalawa. Naghiwalay po. Sinasabi ko, umpisa pa lamang ayusin na natin. Mahirap na yung nag-aayos pag naumpisahan na. Start well. That is our feast today. The beginning of Mary and in her life was immaculately conceived. It was the grace of God. Tayo rin naman, we may not be perfect as we were born like Mary without sin, but we were baptized and our sins were washed away. May maganda tayong umpisa. Pinapaaral kayo. Mayroon tayong kakayahan. May misa tayo araw-araw dito. Mayroon tayong mga oportunidad gamitin natin, lalo na sa mga bata, para mag maganda ang kanilang kinabukasan. Umpisa pa lang, maganda na. Kaya lang hindi sapat maganda yung umpisa. Kailangan ipagpatuloy ang magandang naumpisahan. Hindi po sapat na maganda yung introduction. Dapat hanggang matapos, tama. Pwede, le, teya, pwedeng tama yung introduction, no? Pero bandang huli, hindi man pala wala sa tono. Pwede yun, no? Pwedeng maganda ang umpisa, pero hindi na ipagpatuloy. Halimbawa, bigyan kayo ng halimbawa, magbalik tayo sa kasal. Yung iba, ang ganda ng kasal, big time, hotel, gumasos ng milyon sa kanilang reception, sa kanilang damit, sa kanilang video, sa kanilang mga retrato, sa kanilang mga bisita. Pero hindi man sila nagtagal. Kumisan pwedeng napaganda ng umpisa, pero hindi, hindi na natili. Si Maria, maganda ang umpisa. She began with the immaculate conception, an immaculate beginning. And she sustained her life with fidelity, a faithful sustenance. Paano po sinasabi ito? Hindi lang ngayon sinabi, let it be done to me according to your word. 
But her fiat, her fidelity, was through her life. Nalala niyo po, buntis pa lang si Maria, nagka-problema na siya. Ito magiging asawa niya, betrothed na. Parang yung betrothed, gusto sabihin, parang meron na silang kasunduang ikasal. Baga sa panahon natin ngayon, meron ng engagement, yung engagement ring. Itong si Jose, hindi niya matanggap-tanggap ang kagustuhan ng Diyos. Siguro dahil simpleng tao lang si Jose, kalpintero, hindi niya maabot-abot ang plano ng Diyos. The salvation of that plan is by God. Hindi niya siguro panuintindihan by that time. Di ba po, pagkasilang ni Jesus, meron na siyang death threat? Ba? Kala ko yung may death threat lang, yung mga may kalaban. Gano? Pero po si Jesus, pagkasilang pa lang, gusto nang papatay ni Herodes. Naalala niyo yung piyesta pagkatapos ng Pasko? Yung, yung, uh, ano yun, yung Ninyo Sinocentes? Sabi nila, maraming pinapatay si Herodes dahil inahanap niya si Jesus. Dahil hindi niya matukoy sino, bawat batang malit, pinapatay niya. Mabuti na lang si Maria at si Jose, they were born, warned by an angel, then they fled, fled to Egypt para lang maligtas si Jesus. Nakita niyo po, baby baby pa lang si Jesus, nakikihabulan na sila sa kamatayan at sa peligro. Nung malaki na po si Jesus and he started his ministry, Mary followed Jesus. Marami pong instances sa Ebanghelyo kung saan nagtuturo si Jesus, nandun din sa Mary, si Maria, pasunod-sunod kay Jesus. Alam niyo po kung sinong pinakaunang Kristiyano? Who is the first Christian? It's Mary. Hindi man po yung mga apostoles. Ang pinakaunang sumunod, ang unang mananaywala, ang unang naging disipulo ni Jesus ay si Maria mismo. She was a faithful disciple from the very beginning. Tignan nyo man po, itong mga labing dalawang apostoles niya, naging kaibigan niya, tinuro niya, kasama niya araw-araw. Pero nung nagka-problema si Jesus, na-aresto, he was scarred sa the pillar. Bit-bit-bit-bit niya ang kanyang krus hanggang ipinako. Nasaan po yung labing dalawa? Nasaan? Nung nakapako si Jesus, nasaan yung labing dalawa? Except John. They were hiding. Nagtatago na sila. Iniwanan nila si Jesus. Di ba si, si, si uh, Pedro, napakatapang pa. Sabi ni, di, ni Jesus around uh, Mark chapter 9 yata yan. Sabi ni Jesus, the high priest of the temple will capture me. Parang ganun. They will judge me unjustly. They will condemn me to be crucified and die on the cross. Mamamatay ako sa cross. Sabi. Ano sabi ni, ni Pedro? Hindi mangyayari yan. No way, Jose. Over my dead body. Hindi pwedeng mangyari yan. Jesus, I will defend you. Ako na muna yung mamatay bago ikaw. Pero no, na-aresto na si Jesus. Kumusta si Pedro? Tatlong beses pa niya tinalikuran ang kanyang kaibigan ni Jesus. Question, si Maria, nung nakapako si Jesus, nasaan siya? Nasaan po si Maria? Nung nakapako si Jesus, nagtago din ba si Mama Mary? Hindi. Nung seminarista ako, may naririnig ako music sa Bacolor, sa Betty, sa Guagua, sa Santa Rita, around that area. Pag Holy Week, lalo na yung Biyernes Santo, meron silang sa prosesyon nila, ang ganda. Meron pa silang nakal, nakasunod sa prosesyon. Meron silang violin. Magbabiolin yung mga pamimpamilya. Ang isa lang yung music play nila, yung music lang yung piyesa nila. Ang title, Stabat Mater. No, hindi ko maintindihan yung Stabat Mater, eh, Latin eh. Gusto pa pala sabihin ng Stabat Mater, Mater, Mother. Stabat, standing. Parang sinasabi nung kanta when Jesus was was crucified, Mary, the mother, was standing by the foot of the cross. 
That is in John. Chapter 19, if I'm not mistaken. At alam niyo po, si Maria na natili, nanindigan, nakatayo. Hindi po siya bumigay na sumuko. Around 14th century, may painting, painting. Si Mama Mary, hinimatay. May bunsul niya po. Di ba po, kung misan ako nagbibless ako ng patay dito, pag di makayanan ng nanay, o kaya di makayanan ng malsabot, mabubunsul na po. Sa sobrang iyak. Kaya yung painting, nakapako si Jesus, may bunsul niya yung Mama Mary. Sa painting. Pero alam nyo, hindi po totoo yun. Fake yun, fake. Bakit? Wala sa Bible na si Maria hinimatay. Wala naman sa Bible na nag-collapse si Mama Mary. No? In fact, it was said, it was Mary standing by the foot of the cross. Nanindigan sa paanan ng krus. Hanggang mamatay ang kanyang anak. Lapieta, alam niyo po yung Lapieta? Kinalong niya habang nung parang bata siya, kinakalong niya. Nakita niyo po yung image ng, ng Belen. Nasa sa pupunan niya, si baby Jesus. Until the end, namatay ng anak niya. Ibinaba sa krus, nasa sa pupunan pa rin ni Maria. Until her son was buried. Until Jesus resurrected, Mary was one of the witnesses. Until His Son ascended into heaven, Mary was with disciples. Ano pong sinasabi ko ito? Bata ba ng kwento ko? Sinasabi ko lang, ang magandang umpisa ni Maria ay pinagpatuloy niya sa kanyang buhay. Hindi lang magandang umpisa, period, walang nangyari. The very beginning of what we celebrate today, the Immaculate Conception, is only realized as a feast and solemnity. Pinagpipiyesahan natin dahil lang ang naging grasya nitong ating piyesa ngayon ay hindi lang natapos ngayon. Ito'y binuhay ni Maria hanggang nagbalik sa langit ang kanyang anak. A immaculate beginning which is sustained by faith and it was fulfilled gloriously. Question, may question po ako. Sino pa yung isang babae who is also immaculately conceived? Hindi lang si Mama Mary pala yung may immaculate conception. Mayroon pang isang babae, dalawa lang sila, si Mary at saka yung sa. Sino yung babae yung immaculately conceived? Sino pa kaya yun? Call a friend? Call a friend? Sirit na, sirit. <laughs> Napakinggan nyo yung first reading. Yung first reading, it's Gen Genesis chapter 3. May isang babae, wala siyang, wala siyang kasalanan nung siya'y sinilang. Dahil hindi siya dumaan sa isang ima, ina. Ang pangalan niya, Eva. Si Eva, asawa ni Adan, ay walang kasalanan. Bakit? She was without sin. Walang original sin kasi wala pang original sin nun. Siya sinilang sa kamay ng Diyos. She was immaculately conceived. Ngayon, question. Anong pinagkaiba ni Eva at saka ni Maria? Ba't si Maria may piyesta tayo sa kanyang immaculate conception? Ba't kay Eva wala tayong piyesta? Immaculately conceived din siya. Anong pagkakaiba? Pareho kanilang umpisa. Actually, mas maganda pa nga yung umpisa ni, e ni Eva. Kasi si Eva, ka kagad nang nasa paraiso. Si Eva, sinilang sa kamay ng Diyos, the Creator. Si Maria, nung sinilang siya, simple lang. Di naman sila nasa paraiso. Simple lang yung buhay nila. Ni Santa Ana, kanyang nanay. Alam niyo po ba di natin pinagpipiyasan si, si Eva? She did not sustain her life faithfully. Therefore, it did not fulfill her life gloriously. Oo, magandang umpisa, pero hindi niya pinagpatuloy ang grasyang naibigay sa kanya. Mga batang nagsisimba, mga sudyante ngayon, magandang inyong umpisa, nandito kayo sa simbahan. Pinapaaral kayo ng mga magulang nyo. Mahal nila kayo. Binibigay nilang kaya nila. Pinakakaya nila. Parang magandang kinabukasan nyo. Huwag nyong sayangin. 
magandang umpisa na way pagpatuloy sa tapat na pagmamahal sa Diyos, sa pakikinig sa salita ng Diyos, sa pagtupad sa gusto, kagustuhan ng Diyos hanggang ito'y maging ganap sa ating buhay. Ito po ang ating fiesta. It's not the beginning that really matters. It is the fulfillment and the ending which is the assumption of Mary into heaven. Nagumpisa na maganda at natapos sa, kalingat, sa kalangitan. May, blood, may God bless us all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please all rise. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true, true God, God true from God. true God, begotten God not made, made substantial, consubstantial with the Father, with the Father. through Him, him all things, things were made. For, for us men and for our salvation, salvation he, he came, came down, down from, from heaven, heaven, and by, by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate, was incarnate of, the of the Virgin Mary, Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. And of the, the life, life of the, the world, world to, to come. come. Amen. Sisters and brothers, through Mary's Immaculate Conception, God's plan of communion and salvation is ushered in. Let us ask the Father the grace to imitate her every way as we say, Father, through Mary's intercession, be with us. Father, through Mary's intercession, be with us. Loving God, Empower and embolden your church to imitate Mary's perfect obedience to your will. We pray. Father, through Mary's intercession, be with us. Loving God, move all public servants to become bearers of God in their selfless service to the nation. We pray. Father, through Mary's intercession, be with us. Loving God, we lift to you our entire being, like Mary, preserves us in grace, we pray. Father, through Mary's intercession, be with us. Loving God, embrace our departed loved ones into your eternal communion through the intercession of Mary, our mother, we pray. Father, through Mary's intercession, be with us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Preserve us in grace, dear Father, that as we shine and strive forth to imitate and love Mary, our mother, we may also bear your Son in all our decisions, in all our actions in life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist.
please all rise. Pray, my dear friends, that the sacrifice of yours and mine may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your pervidient grace, be untouched by any stain of sin, so that through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all the stain of original sin, so that in her endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to be forth a son, to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You place her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of our holiness. And so in company with all the choirs of angels, we prepare and sing your praise and without end we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have thus worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Torrentino, our Bishop, and all the priests and all our friends who serve you in our church, especially here in our parish at the Holy Cross. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to call God our Father. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace, the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let's share with one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you, Pope. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be held. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal us in the wounds of the fault from which, in a singular way, you preserve the Blessed Mary in her immaculate conception through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit bow your heads and pray for god's blessings may god who brought and may god through the childbearing of the blessed virgin mary willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race be pleased to enrich you with his blessing amen may you who know always and everywhere to
the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you have devotedly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual choice and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you, upon your family and loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, pray for us. Our Mass is offered. You have begun with graces and many blessings. Sustain this with faithful life, and you will be gloriously rewarded at the end. Our Mass is offered. Thanks be to God. Thank you, great mother, to 